What's up guys? Uh, it's been a while but here's another tutorial. This was requested after I released uh, Crafting Shades 9000 GTX. It's uh, how to make static mashups for Fallout 4. And I used to use NiffScope for this but because Bodyslide and Outfit Studio were updated with a widget for transforming meshes, I'm going to be using that. So what you need is body slide and you go to the outfit studio from here. Uh, before you can start, what you need to do is unpack uh, the game data, meshes namely. And today we're going to be making a bar shelf. I don't know, I didn't find a shelf though. I'm going to use one from my previous ones. Uh, when you start to make a mesh for the crafting menu, you have to remember that you can't edit the collisions. So if you're making a shelf, put the shelf into Office Studio first and then put, put all the knickknacks, all the clutter on that shelf. If you're making the bookcase, put the bookcase in first and then put all the little shit on it after that. So I'm too lazy to find where the unpacked shelf is, so I'm going to use my old one, ammo shelf. There we go. Now you just drag and drop meshes into it, you don't have to do anything else. Let's do something sensible. So as you can see it's all here, all it's got all nodes. Uh, you rotate the thing by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse. I'm going to keep the shelf and choose with shift down all these other ones. And delete them yes I'm sure I want to remove them so now it's only got this as you can see it doesn't have any bones it's not weighted or anything it's going to complain you when you save this export it it's gonna complain that there's no waiting ignore that we're not making a weighted outfit so uh, now we're just gonna start dragging and pulling them here uh, activate the widget make sure you have the latest outfit studio because the, the older versions don't have this widget and you can just as you can see, it's consisting of three pieces, so you have to select all of them. Select one, hold shift, select all of the items. And I can just use a widget. Control Z is for uh, cancelling what you're doing, undo. Now you can just use a widget to move items in place. You can duplicate these, but as, when it's uh, three meshes, I find it easier to just pull a new one in. Select all the three items and start moving. It's that, it's that easy. It just takes patience. Is the music too loud? Select all three, and don't worry if you move it wrong, you can always just go back, do it again. And don't do this. Oops. Don't put them all in the straight line and the same location. If you put five of these bottles here and the, the labels are all facing front and they are in the exact spot, it looks stupid. Try to do what I'm doing here. Like They're all turned, because someone hastily put this on the shelf here. They just put all of them away. They didn't spend five five minutes putting the labels all all the facing front and being in a perfect millimeter line here don't do that that looks stupid if you have two of the same item turn the other one away a bit so it so it looks more varied but varied for the fu fuck you english there you go let's get some booze and then some wine you can put empty bottles as well choose all of the three put it up a bit so it's lined up with the shelf 
and here we go so now we've got all these bottles I'm not going to finish this because that will take me 10 minutes to perfect because I'm a perfectionist uh, now, what do you want to do now is just export it you can turn off the widget by changing to one of the brushes so this is what you do but this is not all you have to do because as you've noticed if you used my crafting chest uh, the crafting mod when you turn away from the shelf the items disappear from the screen I've found a fix for that but it's very fucking tedious so I'm gonna show you how to do that if I export this NIF to wherever it's gonna complain that there's unweighted vertices but don't care we just didn't want to save it anyway because it's not a weighted item booze shelf put it there uh, now you need to edit it in if go for every single fucking mesh all of these so this is why I haven't updated crafting fury yet because it's fucking tedious as hell first uh, the shelf see now we have the collection object and it, oh, the collection is from the shelf so you basically uh, these bottles you could put stuff over them they're gonna be uh, like in, in game you can put stuff over them we can't edit collisions yet uh, the shelf you select the pro, uh, BS tri shape you browse up to bounding sphere and let's see what it is as you can see the bounding sphere covers the whole shelf that determines whether it will show up in game or not you have to to do this for every single object select the glass go to bounding sphere 50 50 50 let's see what that did where's the bounding sphere it's in the middle of no one that the fuck radius 50 so it it covers the whole screen check it once you find <coughs> where was the you, you can cop pretty much copy this 10, 1, minus 10. 10, minus 2, minus 10. So now it's almost at the center. Put there. Yeah, I know it's annoying, but you have to do it if you want this to show up. I'm gonna put radius to 100 because fuck it all. There we go. 10, minus 10, 100. That'll work. Now we get to do it to every single item. That was the glass. 10 minus 10, 100. 10 minus 10, 100. What? You thought this was going to be easy? This is why no one releases shit. Because it's so fucking tedious to do. Do it for every single item. Else they will disappear when the player turns. And then they're going to... Splatter your mod page with com complaints about ooh, I found a bug. And I'm like, yeah, I know. 50 people told me already. I know about the bug. I just, I'm not a patient woman. I don't want to sit here and edit thousands of notes to make you work. Oops. And so on. Now what you got to do is just save it. Now it should work. I'm gonna leave a few open so I can show you what it looks in game. Now you have to do what you have to do is open my uh, tutorial for adding crafting items. And add these to the game. We're gonna do this. I have too many mods. Well, let's just do it here. So I know you want to add it into the game. It's a static item. Where are my shelves? Move it to here. Shelf. Copy as new record into. Filled. To this mod, refresh, it's there, blue shelf, 
go to form list where it is, fill shells, add new. Oh, did you freeze? I'll drink coffee while you're frozen then. Mm, that's good coffee. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Let's just copy it for my day. It's easier to add. There we go. Now let's add it to the list. Uh, this for my day list fill shells is crafted by this recipe. Jelly fill shells form list for my day list. So it's there now. Now we have to enable it somewhere. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go in game. I'll see you in a minute. Um had a bit of trouble fallout decided to reset all my my settings so i have to, to set all the all the things again that was that was annoying also when you edit your esp if it's not a new one remember to close fallout 4 edit because otherwise the changes won't affect in game i, I get, came in game and i was like, like I oh this. get the fuck on my face okay we put it into shell so it's here I came in the game and the shelf wasn't here and I was confused. But here it is, look. Now, as you can see, all those items on that kitchen shelf there disappear from the view because they don't have the bounding sphere. So I'm gonna put this here and move. As you can see, some of them disappear. You can see the shadows disappearing. That's happen that happens when you don't edit the bounding sphere. So I'm going to have to do it for this shelf, this box, all of it. I'm trained for any combat situation. So yeah, that's, that's, that's your mashup. It wasn't hard, was it? It just takes, takes a while, a bit of patience, but the results are awesome. If you want them to snap properly, I recommend you use already existing items in the workshop. Because then, um, then the snapping and everything will be there already, and the collisions are good. Yep. But that's that's it. If that you have any questions, you know what? I hate you. You don't shut up ever. There we go. Problem solved. So yeah, imagine I have this shelf or this. Now I have to, I have to set the collision box, the bounding sphere, for every single item in this. Because else this happens and it's not cool but yeah that's it leave a comment on the video if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video